In today's video, we are going to learn this Apollo logo animation into After Effects. Alright, so first of all, we have to make a new comp. Hit OK. To import a vector file, go to your selected folder, click on the vector file and choose layer retain sizes and hit OK. Alright, so this is compression of our logo. Drag it here to the main comb. And this is a transparency toggle by the way. Here you can see there is no background. And this is our illustrator layers. This composition is 1080 by 1080 pixels. So we need to change into 1920 by 1080 pixels. For this go to composition settings. Then here we can change the preset of 1080 by 1080 to HD hit ok before we start animating we have to do some preparation like converting those vector files into shape layers go to this select all the layers of vector files then go to layer create create shape from vectors after that we can delete these vector files to delete these files select the label group option just click on the box of a vector layer here you can see the label group option select it and hit backspace on the keyboard to delete it and here is our shape layers you can see our logo looks very tiny compared to the composition so we have to increase the size of logo here is a smart technique to increase the size right click on your mouse go to new and add a null object into your timeline Make sure your null object placed into the center of your logo. Then select all layers and make a null object as a parent. This means all the shape layers connected with your null object. Let me show you what does it means. If I reduce the scale of null object or increase the size of null object, so others layers will be scaled up because null object is a parent of all the other layers. Now we can rename the shape layers one by one. It's very important. Now I change the color of shape layers or text so I can see them better on the black background. Now we can delete the null layer and select the pen tool to start draw a line. Starting drawing a line for a later and make sure your fill is set to be none. After that rename of the shape layer and change the color of the shape layer also i change the color of the shape so i can show you better all right go to the search bar and type cap cap and change butt cap to round cap to make smooth both cap of the shape now go to the add button click on it and add a trim path into the shape layer after that go to the first frame and click on the stopwatch up and change the value 100 to 0 at the first frame make one more keyframe on the start point then go to 20 frames further and change the value of the end 0 to 100 and start value should be 100 to 0 all right now select the start keyframes and drag into the timeline something like this so our animation looks like that now we are going to make a magic so go to this add button click on it and add a offset path go to the drop down menu of the offset path and increase the value of amount to match the width of text something like this when you satisfied with this just go to the stroke drop down menu here you can change meter joint into round joint after that go to the drop down menu of offset path and change meter joint to round joint then you will get this kind of shape after adjusting the paths a little bit here is the preview then press u on the keyboard to reveal all the keyframes select all the keyframes and easy is them to make a smooth motion nice you can adjust the timing of animation by dragging these keyframes back and forth after that go to the graph editors and select those handles and drag it like this or something like this check the preview it looks nice to me now select a shape layer and place into above all the shape layers or below this animation line layer 
then press P on the keyboard and make a keyframe on the position adjust it according to our animation one more keyframes on this point go to the first frame and check the preview then select a shape layer and drag it something like this basically we are creating a bouncing effect when line is joined to a shape layer at this point then make another keyframe here and drag the a shape layer something like this and here is a preview select all the keyframe press f9 to easy ease let's see the preview you have to match the motion of both shape layers when you satisfied with this motion or animation just go to the stroke color and change it to the white now is the important part of this animation we have to mask on this a shape layer to do this select the layer and select pen tool and check this box this tool allows you to make a mask on the shape layer make a rough mask on this shape layer then simply press m to reveal the mask properties and change add to subtract and make a keyframe on the mask path that's an important point then adjust the mask according to your motion and after making one keyframe on the mask path no need to make a keyframe for each time whenever you change the mask position or mask path after effects automatically keep adding keyframes whenever you change the mask path as you can see i drag the time indicator into timeline and change the mask path so after effects automatically creates a keyframe into my timeline after making some changes here is a final preview after that you can adjust the path of your shape layer so it depend on your project or your needs and here is our final preview i will repeat this process with all the rest of letters and let's see how the final preview looks like this is our final preview i adjust the path of the shapes to create these circles which shown in the beginning of this animation all right that's it for now if you have any question please ask me i'll reply you as soon as possible and see you in the next video